All right, welcome to designing a custom lightsaber to be 3D printed. Uh, this is the first episode, so we're going to be looking at um, the basics of Fusion today, and then we're going to create a very simple extension piece um, so that you can put threads on both ends. You can put a male thread on one side and a female thread on the other. And this will be our first part, and this will basically be what we do um, to start every part uh, that we make. Uh, later on, uh, I hope to be able to create some components that you can then um, use as tools to join and combine. So that way you don't have to keep making these threaded pieces, but for now we're just going to make it on every part that we, um, that we do, and then we'll go from there. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, save our new file. So create, so if you haven't, create a project. It's called the Lightsaber Project 2020. And then save your new part. And then we're going to right click and create a new component uh, within that. So we're going to build our lightsaber. And we're going to just make a basic component first. And then we're going to start making our um, actual pieces. We'll make like extensions and chokes and a pommel and a, a blade guard. Um, and or a blade holder, and we'll put all those together um, in our assembly here. Uh, we're going to start with really simple today. Again, uh, my name is Mr. Wilkins, um, and this is uh, the Wilkins Workshop. So here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with a sketch, and we're going to a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, you can either draw a rectangle. And then we can revolve that rectangle around the Y axis here, or we can just draw a circle and then extrude it uh, to make a cylinder. Um, eventually we're going to be drawing a profile. So I'm going to show it this method um, just because of what we're going to be doing in the future. So I'm going to start here, um, click my rectangle tool and then create a rectangle. We're going to do a two inch extension piece. So for dimensioning, and I'm using the hotkey D to do that. I'm going to dimension this to be two inches. And for most lightsaber parts, I found that 1.45 inches uh, for a diameter is what most companies use. So we're going to use that value. 1.45 divided by 2 is then going to be the radius. I'm going to finish that sketch, and we're going to revolve that around this axis. And it creates a cylinder. Um, again, you're like, why did we do that? The reason is, is because eventually we're going to um, go into this space and then we're going to create some, some detail. So we're going to go in here and then you're going to create, you know, little patterns and so forth in this space. You know, that looks something like this. And then when you revolve it, You can basically eliminate these little pieces. And then you get shapes and things like this. Um, which is more lightsabery when you do that kind of stuff. That's why we're doing it this way, is so that eventually you're going to draw a profile and then revolve that profile around an axis um, to get where we're going. Um, that's why. Let me go ahead and revolve all those uh, spots just so we have a full cylinder here. Well, what I'm doing there is holding down control. That allows you to do your selecting again in your example. Um, so there's our cylinder. We're going to add um, a little section on the bottom, which is going to have the threads on it. And then we're going to cut a hole or kind of an impression on the top. And then we're going to put threads on that side. Um, so we're going to do a create sketch. We're going to do it on the bottom of this surface here. C for circle tool. And this one is going to be uh, 1 and 3 eighths. So if you're not sure what 
uh, 1 and 3 eighths is you do 1 plus and then 3 divided by 8. Oops. And then it, um, it'll do 1 and 3 eighths, which is that value. Which actually I don't think we're going to use. I think we're going to use um, something else. Um, I think. We'll see. Um, we're going to go ahead and extrude that. So we're going to finish our sketch. E for extrude. And then we're going to extrude down 0.3 inches on that. And that basically gives us a little ledge that we're now going to put threads on. Um, so we're going to use the thread tool. We're going to click on this outer section here. And we now have an option. I'm going to use the, uh, the 1 and 3 eighths 12. Um, and then you have different sizes. And I want to make sure this is modeled. So it actually cuts the threads into there. So yeah, this is the right size. Um, it's going to cut the threads into there. And then if you look, so right here, look at this while I change. I'm going to go to 1A. Look what happens. So that goes inward. So we actually want to do the 1A setting. So the, these threads are smaller. Um, if you go 3A, it, it bumps it out and bigger. So we want them to be as small as possible because we want to create some clearance between these threads and then the, the female section up above. Uh, when we 3D print that 3D uh, plastic, uh, when it's melted, it's going to ooze out. So it's actually going to be larger than this when it actually prints. So we need to take that into account, and we're actually going to cut some more of that material away. That's the first step. Um, the second step, then, is to then press and pull these faces of um, these threads so that uh, we thin them up even more. So we're going to use the press pull tool. We're going to click on the top face and the bottom face. And we're going to use a negative 0 0.005. So we're going to take in five thousandths of an inch and hit OK. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to round over um, this edge. So there's two actual little edges here. I think on my display, I'll change my visual style here so you can actually see it. And there's actually two edges here. So we're going to round both of those over with a fillet. And we're going to do a 20 thousandths fillet. So we'll do 0 0.02. It's going to round that over for us. Again, the purpose of this is so that we create a larger space um, in there. Now, there's a couple of things we could do. We could round this over. Uh, not really necessary um, for this part. That looks pretty good right there. There's our male end. Uh, now we need to put the female end up here. So we're going to do, um, you could do a new sketch and, or you could do a whole tool, either one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on this. I'm going to do the same thing, C for circle, uh, 1.375, which is 1 3 eighths. And finish the sketch. When I extrude this time, I'm going to extrude a negative. Now, instead of 0.3 like I did here, I'm going to do a negative 0.35. And the reason is because I don't want the bottom edge of this to, um, to bottom out. I want this edge right here, this main edge, to actually seat on top of this. So if I make this exactly the same height as this, then the, there's a chance that it might not. Um, that's going to bottom this out instead of actually sitting, you know, this ledge on this. So I make this a little bit deeper. Say OK. Same process. Create, thread, click on your inside edge, go to model, change it to uh, 1 and 3 8 12. Again, UNF is the fine thread, and then we want to do the same thing. We're going to do 1B. It's going to open it up just a little bit. Click on OK. We do that same press and pull. On these faces. So this one's a little bit trickier, like there's one face and there's the other. Uh, actually that's not the face, that's the back wall. We're going to have to do some rotating to see the other face. We're going to press pull, click on this, we're going to rotate, and there it is. So it's this right there. So, yep, we got the right spot. It's going to be a negative point zero zero five again. Five thousandths. Perfect. We're going to do a fill on this as well. Click 
is two liters one here. Twenty thousandths. And that is how you create your first. Um, let's say we're part of the two inch extension right there. Okay. Um, this will be pretty much the, well, I guess we, we need a hole. So that's the last thing we're going to do. We're going to cut a hole all the way through this thing. Um, so I'm just going to go to this side and use my hole tool. Click on this edge right here. Or this face rather. Not edge. Um, it's going to put a hole there, but it's not centered. So if you click on the bottom, we want to align that with the origin. And then just drag that over to the origin. It should snap to it. Um, I'm really laggy right now. There we go. Now it's not going to necessarily look like it's in the center because we have, um, this is not, um, you've got threads on one side and not on another, so it looks kind of wonky. But this is fine. Uh, we're going to go through all, and then my hole is going to be 1.125, so inch and an eighth. Is going to be my hole that runs all the way through my lightsaber. That way, if you want to put electronics in this thing, um, at the end of this, you can do that. You can put in a battery pack. You can put in um, programmable logic board, so an Arduino or some of the sound boards that are there. You can put a speaker in here, and then you can have a fully, um, really working lightsaber that lights up and it has sound effects when you swing it. Um, it has clash effects on the blades. So there's some really cool things you can do electronically if you put a hole in there. So we're going to put a hole through the whole thing. Um, and then I'm going to relook at it. And this looks pretty good. Got a nice hole. Here's the other thing you want to check is anytime you create something like this, you want to make sure that your thicknesses, your wall thicknesses are, are good. Um, so if I right click on my component, I can go to the opacity here and I can do like 50%. That will allow me to see the inside of this and make sure that I've got enough wall thickness um, to be okay. And this looks pretty good. Now, sometimes up here, this wall thickness could come into question. Like, you know, this, is, this isn't this is very much. So if you're going to do any little cutouts or detail work up here, just be mindful of that. The other thing that we can do is we can do a fillet on these edges in here because there's enough room um, if we put a second one. So if I did a copy of this, and I paste new, it's going to put a second copy of this. It's still working. Calculations. Okay, I'm going to drop this down two inches. See what I'm doing here? All right there, pinches down. But then I need to actually rotate it a bit. So I need to rotate this. Um, I think it's 180 degrees. And then we say okay. And I'm going to look at it from the side again. And then I'm going to um, see both. There you go. So look at that. See how we've got some extra space and play? in these places. So I could round this over right here. So let me go back to edit this component, this top one. And now I'm going to do a fillet. And I'm going to fillet this edge right here and this edge right here. And let's do uh, 20 thousandths again. Let's see what we get there. So it looks good. It's OK. OK, so let's um, go back to this view. Now let's look at where the two intersect here. So we can see right there. Um, you know what? I might have hit paste instead of paste new. So let's edit this one. I'm going to fill it. Click on this and this. Point two. There we go. 
So you can see there we still have clearance.